Hi everyone, my name is Tai Chun Pan. Today, what I'm going to talk about is Japanese New Wave. The name of it is given by film critics to some famous directors and the films belong to them, which from the late 1950s to the 1970s. In that period, the famous directors are Susumu Hani, Najisa Oshima, and the others. And I will present it in four aspects, which are history, background, directors, and culture. The first one is history. New Wave first appeared in France in the early 1950s. It's used to describe the film trend driven by a group of new young directors at that time. When the new wave of film tended to be famous in Europe, the Japanese film industry also suffered a huge impact and set up a new life goal. Many Japanese young directors make a series of works that were quite different from the mainstream Japanese films. At adding a serious sense of social responsibility and political color to the film techniques, it makes the Japanese film into a high level. During this period, a large number of excellent directors and works appeared. Because most of these young directors come from the same Japanese film company, Suchiku Film Company, Japanese New Wave, also be called as the Suchiku New Wave. Emperor Protests is a series of massive protests in Japan from 1959 to 1970s, which against the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty, allowing the United States to maintain military in Japan. This movie is called Night and Fog in Japan. The director put the students' movement of against the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty on the screen to remind these historical lessons and use this experience to find out the significance of the student movement and the reasons for its failure. The second one is background. With the development of television, the benefits of Japan's film industry is decreasing in a sharp degree. Meanwhile, the traditional production mode of big companies gradually closed. With the announcement of new Toho film company, it has brought favorable conditions for the growth in terms of new wave director, independent production. And the gloomier politics makes some young people feel disappointed in their daily lives, which is similar to the reaction of the French new wave to the political society. And it provides a human base for the birth of new wave. Besides, French New Wave and the Polish film movement has brought great influence on the theme and style choice of a group of directors such as Najisa Oshima. The third one is directors. After World War II, Japan was strongly impacted by European and American control, and different Western control come to Japan. The director created a new picture of life for the interest of the young generation. I personally feel that it's not only a careful description of the material aspects of Western civilization, but also in the Western style of human nature and personality. Then, this film describes the public imagination of luxury, arrogance, wealth, and playboy. This director seems like sacrifice ceremony of his childhood and youth experience, and this work has a clear narrative and surrealistic to show his childhood. He tried to make his, this film reflect the current social situation of youth in Japan. The fourth one is cultural. In this book, the writer investigates some Japanese who live in the United States and the Japanese war criminals in the United States during the war. She collects a large number of literary and academic works about Japan interprets the Japanese thinking way and habits from the details of their daily lives, especially uses the images of Ju and Dao to reveal the contradictory character and nationality of the Japanese. This is my references list. Thanks for your listening.